saying that this episode tries so hard when it comes to the slice of life material similar to the Loud House, and yet it didn't get the treatment and attention from Nickelodeon where it did towards Spongebob and the Loud House. It's going to take a while for me to actually binge watch these cartoons, and with this being the second episode I've watched from the show, it's probably sums up a lot on to why I can't be able to get into cartoons I haven't watched yet. Granted, it would take more time than necessary, but who knows. And with this being the beach episode and some of Blues of 4, Peach Paradise is beach all over it and I used footage from this episode for my intro of Summer Palooza 4 Beach Paradise. Consider this the only way for me to ever get back to the show and the only way I'm ever going to get back to the show is obviously holiday episodes, mainly Halloween, but let's say about that the better, let's go talk about the episode. Andy wants to go on the swim dock with her friends and Pony in order to enjoy themselves, but the adults have been taken over the swim dock. However, during the day while the adults are gone from the swim dock, it's revealed that Kyle, who is one of the adults that were taken over the swim dock, is the lifeguard, who prevents Andy and the others by getting close to the swim dock. I'm gonna be really honest with you, if I did see more of this character, if I did watch the show and he does these deeds against Annie and the others, I can instantly tell that he would have done a lot more worse than what he's doing with Annie and the others. I'm gonna be really honest with you, judging on the fact that Annie's situation on the beach is a lot more complicated considering that she wants to do more, mainly being on the swim dock with her friends. The swim dock is basically Annie's version of, or basically Annie's hobby of enjoying her time on the beach rather than anything else. Like, compared to what she did in the Christmas episode along with her family, this is mainly an indication that this is basically Annie's way of enjoying on a hobby that she is part of. As for Pony, he's invested with making designs out of sand. So he decides to make anything out of sand that actually impresses Annie's friends, all the while Annie is so focus on the swim dock than anything else. If you ask me, considering of how how Pony was established in the Christmas episode from my perspective, this episode is mainly an indication that he's probably going to do something different while Annie is focusing on her goal in the episodes. Granted, that's my prediction before I officially binge watch this show, but the way this episode is exec executed, Pony isn't getting in the way of Annie. Annie is mainly in the way, well not really in the way, but Kyle is in the way of Annie preventing her from getting on the dock. Like, if the lifeguard Kyle wasn't a major problem in this episode and Annie is just struggling and struggling while refusing to give up, she can only think of one activity on the beach and nothing more, and as much as she may be a bit petty, keep in mind you will probably do one activity on the beach and even if you may do multiple, activity, multiple activities in the future, on your first day on the beach, you will only do one activity as the main activity for your first day. Which I honestly felt like Annie's predicament in this episode is somewhat important to her considering that she isn't being self selfish towards other people. Granted, she is being left out on the best activity involving Pony and the others. But in the sequence, well, she uses all the inflatables in order to get to the dock, only to flew over the dock and unable to swim while needing the assistance of Pony, you still feel bad for her. And for me personally, it really shows that Annie is a really likable character. And it's really a shame that this show ended up being a really, really missed opportunity before it became something a lot more meaningful. But 
if Nickelodeon is ever willing to give a cartoon like this more attention and not being overshadowed by other cartoons, they really need to hire new management involving people who are highly into cartoons and see the potential in cartoons. Like, even though that Cartoon Network right now is having low originality at the moment, it doesn't change the fact that they're at least trying, while in Disney Channel, they're making newer cartoons, like there's no tomorrow, like the end of Ephemia and the Outhouse is, is really depressing, but they still have other cartoons going on. And for me personally, just by seeing this cartoon being the last Nicktoon to come to an end to, to it being overshadowed by Spongebob in the Loud House, it's really depressing. I mean, this beach episode is a really good beach episode for being a different type of beach episode compared to other beach episodes that I've seen in the past. I mean, the way it's executed on Pony doing his own thing that got the attention from others aside from Annie, and the fact that he's willing to save Annie from getting drowned, all the while that they ended up getting the swim dock at the end, it's mainly an episode that you would expect originality and style from a different cartoon, and it's Pony is a perfect example of that. I know it's exhausting for me to talk about what should have happened or what shouldn't happen, but for me personally, that's mainly my passion in animation and what I feel about shows that are different from each other, and after taking time to get used to, I appreciate them a lot more than before. Which really showcases of how much that It's Pony felt like one of the only cartoons that I was playing on watching, but due to so much going on in production and behind the scenes, I didn't bother. I mean, this episode well, not as good as the Christmas episode. It made me entertain, similar to the Christmas episode, but only a little, but still made me entertain. Like, every time I look at Pony saving Annie's life from getting drowned, all the while that they ended up getting the swim dock at the end, that's mainly what an episode should do. Have the characters deal with obstacles, do some interesting tones in the episode, and then towards the end, they get together, but it's not because of an argument that they got separated, it's mainly of how the other character can do something good, while the other character is just focusing on the status quo. And considering that one of Annie's friends' song is terrible, stated that it would bring the house down, it did, and it brought Kyle down with the house down. That's really clever, if you ask me. All in all, this is one of the most underrated beach episodes that I've seen so far. And trust me when I say this, when I get the chance to binge watch this show, there's at least one episode that got me more appreciative that I might do a review off of it. It's not gonna be anything hol holiday related or beach or swimming related, but at the same time, I know for a while that there's at least one good episode from this show that isn't any of those things. I know that's asking for too much, but at the same time, I'm only looking at these shows when it comes to holidays related or something that got me invested the most, which this show hasn't when it comes to getting me invested the most other than the holiday episodes. So if you're interested in this episode, and you're interested in swim docks, if there were swim docks on the beach or in the ocean by the beach, this episode is definitely for you. If you're curious on It's Pony, that is. Or not the case of It's Pony, but it's mainly your, your taste of these types of episodes. I'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10.